Welcome back. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, fentanyl is a synthetic drug that is 50 times stronger than heroin and up to 100 times even more potent than morphine. A lethal dose may be as small as two milligrams. Our Andrea Williams is here now to tell us about a local woman who really is working to try to help lives. Andrea. Yeah, hi ladies. It is a scary thought, but fentanyl poisoning is often a one-time mistake. And Desilyn Smith, she's hoping that education and the life-saving Narcan boxes can in fact save lives. It's an epidemic that only seems to be getting worse. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the synthetic opioid fentanyl is killing about 195 Americans a day. Desilyn Smith works as a mental health and substance abuse counselor. She understands the urgency behind this epidemic and feels that people need to be better educated and less judgmental when it comes to drug use. I work with people every day from January of 2021 to present day. I've known uh, like 20 people that have passed away from fentanyl poisoning. Deslin lost her husband, Hamid Abd al-Jabbar, to a fentanyl overdose last year. And it was that experience that enhanced her mission to help save lives. Education. Let's start educating people, making people feel more comfortable, um, saving lives, and then really dig in. There were 644 drug-related deaths last year in Milwaukee County, a new record. The medical examiner says we're on pace to top that in 2022. The last time Desilyn spoke with TMJ4, she had gotten two Narcan boxes installed in businesses across the city. There are now at least two more in businesses thanks to the ongoing support of Wisconsin Voices of Recovery who supplies them. We're looking at high risk areas where um, we let the neighborhood know, hey, they're here. James Ferguson is the president of the Center for Family Preservation located on Tetonia Avenue. He agreed to allow the Narcan boxes into his faith-based business that also includes an addiction recovery program. Addiction is a force that is very strong because many of us don't really understand it. We're, we're, we're likely to judge them and unfortunately, uh, people die every day um, because of our judgment or lack of empathy. Desilyn now works to get those same boxes into Milwaukee public schools, especially since the rainbow fentanyl that looks like candy has hit the streets. It's 50 times more potent than heroin and 100 times more potent than morphine. I reached out to One Pill Kills, Team Havoc. Hey, what do you guys think? They said, go for it. Let's do it. Desilyn's new goal? install 20 Narcan boxes in schools and 100 boxes in businesses and organizations across the city. It's a decision that James Ferguson doesn't regret. Inside this box is an ability to save somebody's life. And beyond being a business owner, just as a human being, that's, that's a lot for me. Wow, and according to the National Institute on Drug Abuse, law enforcement seized nearly 10 million fentanyl lace pills last year, which is an astronomical rise from the fewer than 300,000 pills seized in 2018. And ladies, the whole goal is to keep this conversation going because mm -hmm. really all of the different drugs that are available out there can be laced with fentanyl, which we've talked about how potent it is, mm -hmm. and people can try it just once and lose their lives. I so. mean, we have to admit it's here, so why not find solutions that will save lives. Yeah, and the work Desilyn's doing is definitely doing that. Well, right. and it's just one person working her butt off to get this done, and it's just so admirable. She is working with other organizations, yeah. and together they are making a difference. And that's how you're going to make a greater impact Absolutely. with the collaboration. Andrea, thanks. Thank, Thank you. you.